After cleaning the forks and inspecting all of the components, we can now start the reassembly of the, of the forks. So what we're first going to do is we're going to take the inner tube here and we're going to wrap some tape around where the bushing goes. We, we don't want to damage any of the dust seals or oil seals. So let's go ahead and wrap this with some tape. And then first we want to slide on the new dust seal and we want the uh, the lip to be facing toward the bottom of the seal. And we, the tape is to keep from damaging uh, the dust seal and the oil seal. So first we put on the dust seal and then what we're going to do is put on the retaining clip. So we have the retaining clip here. We're going to put that on. And now we're going to put the new oil seal on. And if you remember the line on the oil seal was closer to the opening. So we're going to follow the same suit here and we're going to gently put this on. Okay, now that we've got the seals on and the dust seal, And as you see here, I'm going through the documentation. I have never done the Suzuki forks before. We want to get the oil seal washer installed. And this is the oil seal washer. So we're going to ins insert that on. Now we have the bushings. So these are the new ones. We have the bottom bushing which is thinner and then we have the top bushing which is thicker. So first we're going to slide the smaller bottom bush onto the the inner tube now we can take the tape off because now we can install the top bushing Now we're going to take the top bushing and we're going to get a little bit of oil, fork oil, and we're going to wrap or wipe some oil around that bushing. And now we can spread the bushing apart. And then we can slide that bushing into place. Now that we have the top bushing installed, we can now take and we can slide the inner tube into the outer tube. Now if we put some oil on the oil ring, the washer, and the bottom bushing, 
and we have some oil on the top. Now we can take the fork tube, the outer fork tube, and slide it on. And then we can take our seal driver and we can drive this, this bushing, the washer, and the oil seal into the lip that is on the outer tube. Now we've slid the outer tube over the top bushing. Now we've slid the washer and the oil seal and the bushing into the top portion of the, of the outer tube. Now we can take and mount the driver for the bushing. Now what we want to do is take the seal driver and we want to tap the oil ring, the washer, and the bottom bush into this recessed area right here. And then we're going to get a flashlight and we're going to check if we can see the retaining ring groove. And if we've gone down far enough, we should be able to get the, the retaining ring into the slot. Once we have the oil seal, the washer, and the bottom bushing in, and we can see the retaining clip slot, we can now remove the driver. And now we can insert the retaining clip inside. And now we can take the flashlight and we can make sure that the retaining clip is seated into the slot. Let me see if I can move it here. Now you're not going to be able to see it, but if you look inside of here, you should be able to see the retaining clip in the slot. So we've now finished that. Lastly, we put the dust seal in place. Now we can flip the fork right side up and we can finish uh, putting uh, the piston, the spring, putting the oil in um, and then putting the top back on and adjusting uh, the forks properly. At this point we can now assemble the top portion of the fork, add the oil and then wrap up. First of all we want to ins insert the lower collar into the fork. We're going to put that in and we're going to let that go all the way down. Once we put the lower collar in, then we can put the spring in. Now we can put the upper collar in. Notice the small hole is up toward the top. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure the outer fork is all the way pushed down on the inner fork tube because now we're going to put the oil in the fork. Now this is an L1 fork. It requires 420 cc's of 10 weight fork oil. So let's go ahead and measure that out and put most of that fork, fork oil in the tube. At the top portion of the fork you'll see four holes. What we want to do is we want to take some fork oil. I have 200 milliliters to, or 200 cubic centimeters. I'm going to 
pour the oil into the forks just to cover those holes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bleed the fork and I'll show you how to do that. We've poured out the remainder of the 220 milliliters. So we're now going to pour this in to cover up the holes. That's the total of 420 cubic centimeters, or 420 milliliters. What we want to do now is we want to bleed the fork. So we lift up on the fork tube, put our hand over it, and push down. We do this, repeat this, ten times. Now we're going to insert the fork damper assembly. The rod guide into the fork. And take our tool and we can tighten this to 66 foot-pounds. We can now torque that to 66 foot-pounds. We took the tape measure and we poured some additional oil in until we reached 80 millimeters and the oil is touching the bottom of the ruler so we had to add some extra oil to make sure that the distance from the top of the tube down to the level of the oil was 80 millimeters this is on an L1 fork on the top of the cap there's an o-ring so let's go ahead and pull the old o-ring off and let's get the new o-ring Put that on, and then we'll get some oil. And then we'll put some oil on the new O-ring. Okay, let's finish up the assembly. First, we're going to put the lock nut on. Now we can take the top cap, we can thread it all the way on, and then we can come in with the lock nut and tighten the lock nut up. Now we can get the two wrenches. Oh, we forgot one thing. Now we're going to fit the adjuster rod down inside. We 
make sure the lock nut is all the way down. And then we can screw this on all the way down until it stops. And now we can take the lock nut and snug up the lock nut. Now we can take our wrenches. We have a three quarter inch and a 17 millimeter. And we can tighten that. And now we can screw on the top cap. And now we can take our cap and we can tighten the top cap now. We've tightened the cap to 35 Newton meters. And that's it. We've rebuilt uh, the fork. And off camera we'll rebuild the other fork. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.